We're back on how to corner my on foot only character in Elite Dangerous, and today Howard is going to learn to count to six. Today's video is brought to you by Game Glass. With Game Glass, you can take control of your ship using a tablet or a phone. You can try it out using some of the free pre made shots, or you can also make your own custom shots and share them with the community through the built in marketplace. So, gone are the days where you have no more room for all your key bindings. On top of that, Game Glass also supports Star Citizen, so follow the link in the video description and try Game Glass for free, and use offer code DTEA to get 5% off any purchase. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Elite Dangerous and to Howard O'Connor's On Foot Only Adventures. I am currently in the process of unlocking some more engineers and I've come into a bit of a weird situation here. You see, we can see here that I'm currently working on Terra here. And we can see one of the requirements for unlocking Terra is you need to complete six covert heist and covert theft missions, on foot missions, okay? Fair enough. We can see also in game if we go and actually check it, there's just this requirement has not yet been completed and it's here without a check mark. We're missing that requirement. Now, the odd thing is I have been running a number of these missions and I've been keeping track of these missions with a little poster. And I have currently done seven covert theft and six covert heist, which should be more than enough to complete those requirements. But obviously, Elite says no, so that means that either I cannot count or Frontier cannot count. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can find some more, and we're just gonna keep running them until we're done. So I'm gonna see if we're lucky and this miss this station still has them. Unfortunately, I do not see any on this station at this point in time, so I'm gonna take an Apex shuttle somewhere else and see if we're more lucky on another station. Ah, here we go, found a covert heist. Let's just go and do that. Let's see if we can find anything else here. We got a covert heist, uh, I've also only done six of those, so let's see. Um, let's get a shuttle, let's go. Okay, while we are heading out, let's use that opportunity to go and talk about these missions here and what it is that we are actually trying to do. So it's a, it's a covert mission, that means that if the alarm is ever raised at the settlement, the mission fails. We need to get in, get out, get, the, um, get our target object without the alarms being raised. The problem is those containers that these um, samples are in triggers an alarm if opened. So we need to go and disable the alarm first. So another thing I like to do while I am heading in, I like to go into this uh, tool called OMD for Odyssey Map Guide made by a Commander Quiz Engine. Awesome tool. We know we're heading to an agricultural site. So here we're going to get maps of all the different types of settlement, all the different layouts that they can be. Um, but we need to go and spot it first. Luckily we're going to head in in daylight. So we're going to see as we come in here. Okay, so we are coming in over the landing pad here, and it looks like we have like a small, small collection of things out there at the top. Let's just move the camera down a little bit here. So you can see that kind of, we have this big building with a big round building. So let's see, we can spot, this is this layout here that we're landing at. So if we open that up, we can see up here, we have the power building straight ahead from the landing pad, and we both have the alarm. Um, and also the, uh, the power control in there in the power building. So that means we're likely gonna have it in here in the agricultural building. See their label, this is HAB, this is agricultural. So we're likely gonna have our sample in here. We're likely gonna, we're gonna have the alarm in the power building. So now we know where we need to go. Need the pistol, we got a guy walking over there. That's surprisingly quiet at this end of the base. There should be a side entrance to this. Oh, 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 there was a guard below me. I need to get take that guy out. Luckily, I don't think there's anyone else around here. There we go. Simple as that. Just to ensure that the coast is clear. So there's someone over there walking. There's a guard there we might have to, uh, to take care of. But I'm just going to check. There should be a side entrance right here. Yes, yeah, so this is going to be a way in. It's a little bit more secluded. But this close to a guard is probably not going to end well, so we're just going to go and uh, get rid of the guard. You want to scan me? There we go. I can scan you as well with a little bit of plasma. So the guards, they can hear the uh, cutting tool. It does emit sound and they will come and investigate if they hear it. That's why I want to take out the guards in the area first. Now that we're heading inside, these guys are not going to like that at all. Settlement alarms. What are we missing? There we go. I'll take that. 
Well, somebody found us. I think she might have heard the cutting tool there. And that might be why she investigated it. But the fact that she came in with shields up probably meant she spotted the the corpse I left out there in the, uh, the open street. Okay, let's just get a little bit of power. Get rid of him. I'm just going to quickly clear the building. There's two people in here. Let's see. There we go. That should do it. And it should have a mission marker on it. There it is. We're going to and mark that. There it is. We have disabled the alarm so we can now safely open this container. It is going to take a while. It always takes forever. So we can chill a bit, run around, open some lockers, steal some loot. We might as well since we have a few minutes to kill. Ah, oh, here's another cool feature that's been added into um, into the Elite Dangerous Odyssey Material Helper. When you open up a data terminal like this, you will see what materials you can see. For instance, the faction news here is marked as irrelevant. Um, and you can see here that the atmospheric data is used in engineering and in blueprints. And I have, currently have four of them. And clinical trial records is used in engineering blueprints and I have zero. So I'm going to take this and this. I'm gonna download those. Hmm, almost there now. We got our sample, and now we can get out of here. There we go. Okay, so seven of each was what it took for me to unlock it. Deploy genetic data. We need to sell how much was it? 20? 20. Okay, let's go. Let's go up to 20. Let's go and this confirm sale. Okay, and with access to Odin. We can now go and add night vision to our suit, which is the last upgrade. There we go. And that actually is going to conclude how it's on Foot Adventures. We have unlocked all the engineers in the bubble. We fully upgraded our suits and weapons to the desired build that I wanted. All without flying spaceships. And just to prove that I have not yet been flying my own spaceships, if I go here, you can see here I still have the Visit Inter Astro to start pilot tutorial. So I have not done the piloting tutorial and until you do the piloting tutorial, you cannot go down in the hangar to your Sidewinder. So I have not been flying my own ships. I've been doing everything with Apex shuttles, moving around like that. I don't think I'm gonna continue it from here. Maybe I'll pick up Howard and do some other stuff with him at some point. I really hope you enjoy this series. If you're coming into it late, there is a bunch of videos that you can go and watch. And there's a whole playlist on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed it. I had a ton of fun with it. That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys in space.